It is project day here at Sagebrush Soul and my daughter Maddie, that's your cue, is here and uh, she's got my mom's old cedar chest that we're gonna actually refinish right here. We got Mix Master Mickey is here. She's gonna match the colors and uh, y'all are ready for we're, chores. We're doing our chores today. We've got our chore boots on. So yeah, they got chores to do, but before you can paint, you gotta sand. And uh, what do you think girls, you ready to start your engines? Ready to start. All right. Watch your toe, Maddie. No more bruises. My toe? Yeah. That's why I said. Because she whacked her head on the freezer last night. Yeah, why don't you just set it down and Maddie can just slip her shoes off. And she stepped in dog shit. How do your shoes look? They're, I gotta take them off. Okay. Oh, shit. I probably should just take mine off too because I probably, I'm Didn't pretty sure I probably it? stepped in it too. I'm, there's no way I didn't. And we don't even have a dog. So this hope chest belonged to my grandma for, we're guessing we, she probably got it when she was like around 16 and it has been passed down to me. And for the longest time it held china in it, two sets of china that belonged to my grandma. And at, there came a point where I decided to clean it out and I think that I just want to do it a little bit better justice. You kind of want to make it your own piece. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to, we're going to, Put a little bit of Maddie in. Yeah, it. yeah. I definitely want to give it a new life. Um, it had this like kind of yellowy color that I didn't love, and some of the uh, shellac on it was bubbling, and it had some dings down here. And I just I think it deserves better. So I want to personalize it to me, breathe some new life into it. It'll be fun. So what, when we got it out of the car, sanded the top, and then I kind of thought that these legs were super cute. So and it adds so much detail and kind of. Gives it a style. Yeah. So then we sand, decided to sand that, and then we also sanded this edge here, which I think is going to look really nice, and it'll kind of balance it out. Mm -hmm. And then it'll, I thought by doing this edge, it would really make this stand out. So I'm really excited to see what it'll it looks like when we fun. when we take the tape off. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the base of it the color that Maddie picked. So we mixed our own color, and then once we've got it painted the way we like, we're going to take the tape off. And the top, you can't see it in this shot, but the top is a little bit more orange. Then this is a little bit more blonde. So then we're going to have to try to color match with stain this part to kind of sort of match that. And then from there, then we'll talk about whatever kind of hardware you want to mm -hmm. do on it. So yeah. I have my ideas, so. I'm excited. Yeah, so we'll, but we'll, we'll get to that point where we get it all uh, painted and then stained and matched and probably a wax finish mm -hmm. on it because you want so. kind of a dull finish yeah right? so yeah. we'll just do like a protective wax yeah coat on it and then yeah it'll be baddies yay yay, yay. <laughs> So we uh, got this color laid on there. We decided that it was looking a little blue. It's very pretty, but a little blue. So we dumped all of our paint back in the mixing cup and threw some yellow in there. And that's where we threw it on the paint sample. And it's a little perfect, just yeah, a little it's bit. Like us. Yeah. It's a little bit perfect. Just a perfect. little bit perfect. <laughs> After these two finished bragging about themselves and apply the second coat, I decided to do a little research on the date of manufacture of this Lane Cedar chest. Turns out that the serial number backwards is the date of manufacture. This one was built on 725 of 1957, which makes me think my mom got it for her 17th birthday. 
It's kind of tough to see here, but the girls are applying a slightly darker hue of the paint around the trim just to give the whole project a little bit more character. Your side looks better than mine. <laughs> You've done this before, mm -hmm. but you just get it on your brush, and where you want it kind of flat, I would just, you know, you just you just want to get coverage. Okay. You can kind of see where you are, where you've been, yeah. and where you haven't. Nice, even. Yeah, and you can do the wood and everything. Cool. Yep. Yeah. And I'll get you. A... <laughs> Put the, the brakes on there. And it'll look wet until it dries, and then it'll dry. Okay. And so I would just do that. And then we have me the blue shop toes. Since you don't want it to shine, we're not even going to buff it out. We're okay. just going to put it on. And then you kind of see I got a little goober there. I'm just, just going to just kind of clean it up a little bit. Just wipe off the excess. Okay. And so that's kind of it. These that lighter might, spots, is, is that where it's drying? or It's just where it's not as heavy. Oh, okay. So you can just kind of hit it again. You can kind of see in the light where you need to go. Cool. I think that's it. Easy peasy. Yeah. And you can do like all of the wood and everything. Cool. Yeah. Come mm -hmm. on. At Vicky's suggestion, Maddie chose to go with leather drawer pulls like the ones I made for my desk. I intended for this to be my contribution to the project, but Maddie beat me to it. She cut the leather straps down to 5 inches, rounded the edges, and punched holes for the mounting screws. After dyeing them black, she burnishes the edges. It's the most tedious, yet most satisfying part of leather work. Right, Maddie? Maddie decided to name the hope chest Fern, after my mom's mom. I think that my mom would be proud that Maddie decided to restore this chest and make it a part of her daily life. I know I am. We are all so grateful that you watched this project with us. We've got more fun projects coming up like this, so please subscribe.